This adventure story begins by showing a man named Lin being woken up by his lover, Isil. Lin was supposed to attend a feast hosted by a powerful king in his empire. The king had offered Lin the opportunity to become his right-hand man at the feast. So Lin immediately got up and rushed to the venue. First, Lin goes to his mother, who was the second wife of the king. But the king never accepted her. Lin's mother asked him where he had been all night. But Lin lied to his mom, saying he was praying inside the church. However, Lin's mother knew everything but did not say anything. Now, Lin's mother tells him to go to the king's feast, but she does not attend the feast herself. After Lin leaves, his mother blindfolds herself and performs some kind of black magic while writing a letter. After writing the letter, Lin's wife seals it with a green stamp. What kind of black magic is this? We'll find out later. Meanwhile, Lin has now reached the king's court. The king seats Lin respectfully on his right-hand side and tells him to begin the feast. But before that, the king asks Lin to share a story of his bravery. Lin was very scared because he had never done anything brave before. He didn't know what to say, but suddenly, the doors of the king's palace open and the green knight arrives. The green knight, riding a horse, goes to the queen, the king's wife. But the surprising thing was that the Green Knight was holding the same letter that Lin's mom had written a while ago. When the king's current wife, the queen, opened and read the letter, an unknown spirit, the Green Knight, possessed her. The queen started speaking in the Green Knight's voice, saying, I want to play a Christmas game, and whoever manages to defeat me will receive my most powerful weapon. However, the victor must come to the Green Chapel next Christmas. After much thought, the king decided that Lin would be the one to take on the task. He handed Lin a sword and pushed him forward to face the Green Knight. Lin was unsure of what to do in this situation, so he started swinging the sword wildly. Fortunately, the sword struck the Green Knight directly on the neck, instantly killing him. According to the Green Knight's terms, Lin became the winner and now possessed the Green Knight's most powerful weapon. But according to the agreement, he would have to come to the Green Chapel next Christmas, where the Green Knight would take his life. Lin wondered if he had made the biggest mistake of his life. As time passed, Lin became very famous throughout the Empire for his bravery. The people of the Empire regarded him as a great warrior. However, in reality, Lin didn't know why all these things were happening to him. He knew nothing about fighting but had become a warrior. As time went by, Christmas approached. The king came to Lin and informed him that he would have to go to the Green Chapel to fight the Green Knight again. And if he fails to do so, the Green Knight might curse their entire kingdom. But Lin's girlfriend, Isil, keeps urging him not to go to the Green Chapel because it could be very dangerous for Lin's life. However, Lin has no choice. The entire kingdom is preparing to send him to the Green Chapel. Before leaving, Lin meets his mother one last time. Lin's mother warns him that he will face many challenges on this journey, but he must never lose heart and keep moving forward. She gives him a green cloth and tells him never to remove it from his side. It seems that Lin's mother has enchanted the cloth with black magic, endowing it with protective powers, but Lin is unaware of this. Taking his mother's blessings, Lin sets out on his long journey. After several hours of continuous travel, Lin arrives at a battlefield. This is no ordinary battlefield, but a site of battles fought between large armies. Even now, there were many soldiers' dead bodies scattered around. As Lin advances, he comes across a boy. Lin asks the boy for directions to the Green Chapel, and the boy points him in the right direction but demands a reward in return. Lin tosses a coin to the boy, who becomes happy and leaves. As Lin continues his journey into a dense forest, he is suddenly attacked by some robbers. He notices the same boy from earlier, who now tells Lin that he intentionally misled him so they could rob him of everything he had. Now, the boy's friends start checking Lin's belongings. Just then, they discover the powerful weapon given to Lin by the Green Knight. The dangerous weapon was revealed, and it seemed that the boy knew everything about the powers of the weapon. So, he left all of Lin's belongings and took the Green Knight's weapon with him. The robbers then tied Lin's hands and feet, leaving him unable to escape. Even after many hours, no help arrived in the dense forest. 
The surprising part is that we are shown Lin's skeleton, trapped and dead in that very spot. However, this is all part of Lin's imagination. He realized that if he didn't escape soon, his future might end up looking like that skeleton. So, he tried his best to free himself. Lin managed to reach his sword and cut the ropes binding his hands and feet, freeing himself. He immediately headed in the direction where the boy had taken his weapon. The dense forest made it difficult to see anything, but after walking for a while, Lin spotted a lake with a small house beside it. Without thinking, Lin entered the house. Inside, he couldn't see much. After such a long journey, Lin was very tired and fell asleep in the house. After a while, a girl named Vini entered the house. Lin woke up and apologized to her for accidentally entering and falling asleep due to exhaustion. Vini didn't say anything to Lin for such a minor issue, but the frightening thing was that she was floating towards him. Lin immediately understood that Vini was not human but a spirit. Vini took Lin towards the lake to tell him about herself. Vini explained that some time ago, a very dangerous king tried to attack her. He wanted to do something wrong to me, but I resisted him, which is why he ordered his soldiers to have me killed. Now, Vini asks Lin for help. She can only find peace when he retrieves her skeleton from the lake. Lin must help Vini because he spent a night in her house. So, Lin bravely dives into the depths of the lake and, after searching for a long time, finds a skeleton. He brings Vini's skeleton to the surface, but he doesn't see Vini anywhere. Instead, he sees a fox staring at him from a distance. Lin recognizes the fox from earlier, but he doesn't understand the connection. Lin takes the skeleton back to the house and sees that Vini's remains are on the bed where he slept. When Lin looks down, he sees Vini's head, which tells him to be careful of the Green Knight because he is someone close to Lin who wishes him harm. Lin then joins Vini's head with her skeleton, granting her complete peace. Lin sees the dangerous weapon stolen by the robbers right there. Now, Lin has his powerful weapon back, so he sets out on his journey. Lin's destination is still very far away, but he must reach it no matter what. Without concern for food or water, Lin keeps moving forward. In a short time, he arrives in a hilly region with a large cave. Lin goes inside the cave to rest. However, he notices the same fox that has been following him from the beginning. The fox has been with Lin from the start and continues to follow him. Lin also stayed in the cave calling the fox to him, and soon they became friends. The fox would now always stay with Lin. After resting for a while, Lin set out on his journey, with the fox by his side, continuously moving forward. Lin arrived at a place with very tall people, resembling a scene from Attack on Titan where giants roamed around. Lin called out to the giants, asking them to carry him on their shoulders and move forward. The giants agreed and extended their hands towards Lin. However, the fox suddenly intervened, barking loudly at the giants, as if it knew the situation was dangerous and wanted to protect Lin. The continuous barking caused the giants to retreat. Lin understood there must be a reason behind the fox's actions, which was why it wanted to protect him. Lin and the fox continued their journey and arrived at a grand palace. Lin thought he could spend the night in the palace, so he went inside. There, he met a king who sat Lin down and spoke with him. The king had heard many stories of Lin's bravery, including his victory over the Green Knight. The king wanted to show Lin something, so he took him inside a room. There, the king's mother was present, her eyes covered with a blindfold. She looked exactly like Lin's girlfriend, Essel. Lin couldn't understand how these things were possible. The king invited Lin to have dinner with his entire family. Lin sat down and ate with them, but the king's wife kept staring at Lin continuously, showing she was completely attracted to him. Lin told the king that he needed to reach the Green Chapel as soon as possible, but the king replied that the Green Chapel was not very far from there and that there were still five days until Christmas. He suggested Lin stay until Christmas was closer, and then he could leave. Lin accepted the king's offer. When Lin was in his room, the king's wife came in. She wanted to get physically close to Lin and have a relationship with him, but Lin had no interest in such things. The king's wife asked Lin for a kiss, but he chose to kiss her on the cheek to avoid disrespecting her. Then, the king's wife noticed a locket around Lin's neck 
and asked who gave it to him. Lin hesitantly said he made it himself, but the truth was that it was a gift from his girlfriend, Essel. Now the king's wife proposed becoming physically intimate with Lin in exchange for giving him his green cloth back. This was the same cloth that Lin's mother had given him before he set out on his journey. And unfortunately, it had been stolen by those boys during his journey. Lin desperately wanted the cloth back, so he tried to negotiate. To fulfill all the wishes of the king's wife, Lin tries his best, but he doesn't perform well enough. The king's wife seems slightly disappointed and leaves. Lin then notices the king's wife with her eyes covered by a blindfold, which terrifies him. He grabs his most powerful weapon and flees from there, running directly from the palace into the forest. After a while, Lin encounters the king, who tells him he has a surprise for him. The king pulls out the same fox from a sack. The fox runs and hides behind Lin. Lin is upset that despite fulfilling all of the king's wife's requests, he still hasn't been given the green cloth. The king leaves without saying anything, and Lin realizes he must reach the green chapel at any cost. He and the fox continue their journey through the dense forest. Along the way, Lin comes across a small sea with a boat. Lin approaches the boat, but the fox suddenly starts screaming loudly and warns him not to take the boat because traveling further will lead to his terrible demise. However, Lin must fulfill his promise to the green knight and reach the green chapel, so he scares the fox away. Lin then boards the boat and continues his journey across the sea, reaching the green chapel. As he moves forward, he sees the green knight asleep, with one day left until Christmas. Lin decides to stay and wait for one day to pass. He places the dangerous weapon given by the green knight in front of him. The next day, when Christmas arrives, the green knight awakens. He picks up the dangerous weapon and moves towards Lin to kill him. The green knight tells Lin that a year ago, at Christmas, he had bowed down to him, and now it was Lin's turn. Lin, according to the terms, bows his head before the green knight, but he flees before the green knight can strike because he does not want to sacrifice his life in this manner. He immediately mounts his horse and returns to the kingdom. Lin goes directly to his mother, who tends to his wounds. He also meets with his lover, Essel, and they are both very happy to reunite after so much time. They also become physically intimate. Soon, the king of the kingdom dies, and Lin, being his right-hand man, is made king. With the newfound power, Lin becomes somewhat arrogant. He fathers a child with Essel but does not accept her. Instead, the very next day, he marries a beautiful princess because he believes only someone of a higher standard should carry on his lineage. The son Lin fathered with Essel grows up, and Lin intentionally teaches him the art of war and takes him to battles. During one fierce battle, Lin's daughter dies, and Lin loses the war completely. When he returns to the kingdom, everyone speaks ill of him and blames him for the loss. Essel watches all this happen and enjoys seeing Lin's downfall, believing he deserves it for how he treated her. Gradually, Lin begins to lose control of his kingdom. In a short period of time, Lin's second wife gives birth to a daughter, but with Lin losing control over his kingdom, his military power significantly diminishes. They discover that a large army from a rival kingdom is advancing to attack them. Consequently, Lin's entire family leaves him and goes far away, leaving Lin utterly alone. Lin realizes his mistake and, at this moment, takes off the garment his mother had given him, and as soon as he removes it, his head is severed, and he dies instantly. Suddenly, Lin regains consciousness and opens his eyes. He is still in the same place where the Green Knight was about to kill him with a weapon. Lin realizes that he was imagining all these possibilities. He understands that if he tries to escape from the Green Knight, worse things will happen to him. Thus, he decides to face the Green Knight and takes off his mother's garment, telling the Green Knight he is ready for death. To Lin's surprise, the Green Knight does not kill him. Instead, he tells Lin that he is a true warrior without fear and that he will accomplish great feats in the future. The Green Knight tells Lin he is free to leave safely. It is revealed that Lin's mother orchestrated the whole scenario because she wanted her son, who was careless, to become a great warrior and take pride in his work. Lin's mother sent the letter to the king using her dark magic at the beginning of the story, 
and the Green Knight was created through her magic to teach Lin the importance of being a great warrior. When Lin returns to his kingdom, he is given the throne after the king's death. Lin now knows what he should and shouldn't do, and he decides to become the best king possible. And so, our adventure story comes to an end here.